Hi, my name is Lingus, and today I'd like to talk to you about uterine hypoplasia and how it can lead to recurrent miscarriages. Uterine hypoplasia, otherwise also known as naive uterus or infantile uterus, is a uterine malformation that is congenital and where the uterus is a very uh, slightly smaller shape compared to a healthy uterus. So this type of uterus is very easily diagnosed uh, using diagnostic imaging because they have a very small uterine body and a very long cervix. So it, compared to a normal one, it's very easily distinguished. So diagnosis will involve using a standard hysteroscopy accompanied with a hysterosalpingography, which is just an x-ray imaging of the uterus, and lastly a 4D color Doppler ultrasound to accurately look at the uterus and whether or not there is a presence of this uterine malformation. So naive uterus or uterine hypoplasia has a tissue composition imbalance as well. So that it means that there's more connective tissue than muscle tissues, causing poor blood flow in this uh, uterus. And during a pregnancy, it's especially dangerous for the fetus uh, growth development. Further, uh, this type of uterus, because of its nature, a naive uterus is much more smaller than a normal uterus. So there is very limited room for the fetus to grow, especially towards a late pregnancy. So it is a very high risk that the uh, potential uh, embryonic demise or a miscarriage to happen. So treatment will involve our anti uterine expansion surgery to expand this small uterus into a standard normal one using our cone knife technique and then uh, accompanied with our intrauterine pear shaped stent to maintain this healthy shape. So once patient undergoes this treatment, she will be able to go for a healthy pregnancy and a full term pregnancy. Okay, if you'd like to find out more details about naive uterus and its treatment, please refer to the article below.